Hi, this is Kristen, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Protector Case by Zero Lemon for iPhone 6 Plus. The kind folks at Zero Lemon sent this out to me to review, and I really appreciate it. And it retails for around $11 on Amazon um, at the time of this review, and I have to say, for this kind of price, I am totally impressed with this case. So, what does it come with in the package? Well, it comes with a holster and a plastic screen protector and the case, which is right there a whole lot for $11. So what's the com composition of the case? Well, on the inside you have a polycarbonate plastic frame that snaps together and in two pieces. I didn't find it that difficult to put on um, as long as you put it on right side up. <laughs> the first time I put it on, I put the bottom part on correctly and then I tried to snap the top part in upside down onto the bottom part, which it snaps in and then getting it unsnapped is not so easy when you realize you did it wrong. But that's my fault and uh, not zero lemons. Once I had it in there correctly, it snapped together quite easily and then you slip this rubber um, over the top and uh, sort of click it in around the edges. Once the rubber has been put on, it feels actually like a one-piece case. Um, not the two pieces, or actually three pieces if you count all the little, uh, the two, yeah, the two inside polycarbonate pieces as, as two pieces rather than one. Uh, it's three pieces that get snapped together to make this. Um, but it feels like one piece because it has a really nice tight fit. This outer material is, they describe it as a TPU. Um, in my experience, this feels a little bit more like a TPE, the same sort of rubber that's on uh, the Griffin Survivor Slim, for example, and uh, feels a lot like what's on the Thule Atmos X3. It's this kind of a hard rubber, but that's still grippy and definitely doesn't uh, attract any kind of lint. So I really like the feel of this case in the hand. It does come in a bunch of other colors. Uh, you don't have to have purple and yellow, but I like the purple and yellow. I think it's really pretty festive. So going along here, we've got separate little speaker holes, which is nice. Zooming in here a little bit, you can see we got plenty of space here for any lightning cables and uh, nice port coverage here as well. Very easy to open and close. Um, headphone jack also um, shouldn't have any problem with with any third-party connectors going along here this is uh, for clicking into the holster volume up and down are nice and easy to press even labeled quite clicky um, they have even covered up the mute switch now this one is a little trickier to get into and open first of all it's got a little cover flap here and then second of all it's pretty deep now, I could reach it. Um, I'm not sure about how guys are going to be able to do it. Might, they might have to use their little finger. But it's kind of nice that it's covered and protected that way. And uh, here's our sleep wake. So, got some, it says protector branding there on the side. Going around to the back here. You can see we've got some uh, zero lemon, lemon branding, nothing too obtrusive. Uh, the uh, Apple logo is visible, although there is clear plastic over this, which is nice. And the camera, although deep, I didn't have any trouble with the flash, I think because they have uh, surrounded it all in black. So overall, really impressed with the Zero Lemon case. Now, I did not put on the included plastic screen protector because I have my Zag glass screen protector that I'm crazy about. Um, but uh, it's a nice touch for them to throw it in. Too many case manufacturers don't bother to put a screen protector in anymore, and I think that's really a shame. As far as the holster is concerned, um, if you want to use it, you just click it in like this. And you can also use it as a stand. If you do that, then voila, you have a built-in beautiful stand. So. Um, overall, really happy here with the Zero Lemon case, as I said, particularly for the price. I would have to say, wow. Um, I received at a very similar time the um, Amzer Crusta case to review, and uh, the Amzer Crusta case uh, costs, well, 
Let's see, I believe it uh, retails for $45, and this one is $11. And I have to say, um, the only thing that the Krusta case really has over this one is the fact that it comes with a glass screen protector as opposed to a plastic one. Other than that, I really like the Zero Lemon case better. So, thanks again, Zero Lemon, for sending this out to me. I think it's really a nice case, and um, I would encourage you to check it out. And remember, you don't have to have it in purple and yellow. It comes with a lot of other colors, including some nice manly ones. If you have any questions or comments about this case, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing. I try to come out with a couple videos a week, and I would love to have more subscribers. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kristen.